great looking crowd out there tonight, especially that table in the back. <laughs> so I'm really excited about the uh, upcoming marijuana legalization. Finally, I don't have to hide my tomato plants anymore. <laughs> So I have a pretty crazy family. Uh, my mom, for example, she's fairly paranoid. She thinks the Rice Krispies are talking to her. <laughs> my mom is actually uh, self-absorbed as well. Can you believe she thinks the world actually revolves around her and not me? <laughs> My sister's a piece of work. She's so nasty that the devil has told her to fuck off. <laughs> she also can be really difficult to deal with. She's paranoid, delusional, super crabby. Oh, wait a minute, that's me. <laughs> And unfortunately, my sister isn't very smart. She thinks that the GF on a restaurant menu stands for give fellatio and not gluten-free. <laughs> Probably one of the most awful things my sister did was steal a valuable painting of mine. I was pretty upset about it. I'm very attached to that painting. Where else am I going to get a picture of cats playing poker? <laughs> My mom and my sister are also really mean. They steal cookies from girl guides. <laughs> yes, that's how mean they are. <laughs> so I'm single and I'm working on an app for single ladies. Uh, basically, you enter your personal information into the app, such as your height, hair color, age, and out will pop the answer. Three cats. <laughs> Speaking of cats, I really like them. They're cute, they're cuddly, and they pair well with white wine. I recently got a new cat, and I'm pretty upset that work won't allow me to take paternity leave. <laughs> I do suffer from anxiety, and to help me get through it, I picture going to events by the number of kittens it would take nearby me to get me through that event. <laughs> so maybe going shopping might be three kittens, going to a birthday party might be four kittens. Um, one of the things I do to help my anxiety is mindfulness meditation. And I find that that helps, or six kittens. <laughs> so as I get older, I find things really irritate me, such as internet pop-up windows. I mean, come on, I already have a penis enhancer. <laughs> Technology has been good to me though. It, uh, whenever I'm not feeling well, I just enter in my information into a website, medical website, and it will tell me what's wrong with me. So just the other week I found out I need a vasectomy. <laughs> I also seem to have smallpox and mad cow disease. <laughs> So tonight's been a really great night. The best part was that all of you had to sit there and listen to me. It's like, thank you. It's, it's basically, you were forced to listen to me. It just feels so empowering. Thank you. And in closing, I want to give the top three reasons why I got into comedy. Number one, I get to make fun of people who've pissed me off. <laughs> Two, I get to make people laugh, which you've been a great audience. And three, I get some hot ass. 